Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Hi, and welcome back to Crucial Classics, the Bring Your Own Copy series. So yay, I'm excited to get this one watched. The Postman Always Rings Twice from 1946. Now I was just thinking about the story of this movie and I was like, what's the purpose of this? Did Hollywood make this movie to make us feel like hypocrites? Because there's so much that goes on in this movie that is in our face, not okay. But I feel like at a certain point in time we will also find ourselves somewhat rooting for these very blatantly doing the wrong thing people. And so are, we, are they just trying to put it in our face that we're hypocrites? Is it touting the dangers of marrying a young vixen, you know, when you just have like a business-minded focus and you're an old fogey that has no business having this beautiful vixen as your wife, like the danger of to your life or that. I mean, there's so many possible like subtext meanings that we're supposed to get from this movie. So I was very curious. I just, I was like, what's the backstory of this? And I've just, the only thing that I found, because I think you and I can determine that ourselves. I mean, you can read somebody's blog on it or we can just watch the movie and come to our own conclusions. But I was curious to see that it's based off of a book. And so that helps a bit, right? Like this isn't just something that was originally created and like I said, it's for all these subtext reasons that is just trying to make you feel like a hypocrite as you leave the movie theater. Um, this movie, we're watching it simply because I would call this a five-star rated movie and it's not played enough anywhere, right? I feel like I saw this movie very early on in my joy of watching old movies max 15 I don't even think I was 15 when I saw this and then I don't really get a chance to see it again I feel like I honestly have sat through this movie start to finish two times so the very first time when I was a very young teenager and then more recently I feel like I maybe was living in this house Turner Classic at a time when I had cable in here um, it was being played somewhere and I do there were no commercials so I have more recently since I've been an adult seen it. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of just extreme things that happen in this movie where it's like, I'm sorry, why don't you just get a divorce? Okay, like, you could just start there versus the route that you guys go. <laughs> I just sometimes these really, really extreme scenarios are a bit ridiculous right to just write along with but this is a very well done movie um the chemistry it's you know i would say that it the chemistry with garfield and, and uh lana turner is dynamic but it's also just very in your face i mean we're gonna get some things that result from that in this movie where it's like it's pretty risque the things that we are exposed to that happen between them that are not usually in line with the code and then, you know, the resulting things that happen that are also not little storylines that get to be uh, explored because of the code. So this is an interesting kind of sidestep from a lot of the uh, restrictions of storytelling during this time. This is only 1946, so let's go. I'm very excited just to watch it. Let's just form our own conclusions. Um, I would say this has got to be the height of Lana Turner, right? And good gosh, just judging, <laughs> okay, just judging. I have mentioned this before. Um, in a point in the early 80s, Lana Turner does an autobiography that she's, you know, then going around and doing interviews on morning talk shows, like kind of, I feel like maybe little affiliate stations, but then on Donahue, that's definitely where I saw her. And she just gave me dits. That, I'm sorry, turns into judge judgmental, like looking at her. Like I have never really um, experienced a person explaining the ins and outs of things that happened in their life more ditzy. <laughs> I mean, she just, 
And then the next thing, I was just married to this person and I couldn't stand him. And I only married him to get back at a other young man that I had just broken up with or that had just broken up with me and I was trying to make him jealous. It's just, she was messy in her personal life. She just was real, real messy. And um, I, again, have never heard somebody explain the ins and outs of the twists and turns that their personal life took with such an expression of well I don't know what happened you know like her life just she came across like her life just happened to her <laughs> a lot did so you know um since kind of seeing that of her, it translates a lot into what I do construct of her performances and so let's just go I've got this one a runtime of an hour 53 when I actually just googled the movie it came in an hour 53 I have a runtime right now hour 52 and 59 seconds so I think we're totally good to go um, it just was starting right out at the MGM credits so I'm trying to think nothing else I can think of let's just get started then all right here we go Playing in three, two, one, click. There we go. Huh. Okay, pretty ominous sounding music right off of the bat. Yeah, the symbol, psh, the crashing symbol. Okay, so they're equally billed, although Lana Turner is at the top. Okay, so yeah, I saw this James M. Cain wrote this book. Do we see that he did the screenplay or is it adapted from him, from his book, right? This is what we just saw that, okay, yeah, so no, it's based on his novel, but they did, two other people did the screenplay. That's what we just saw Humphrey Bogart do in, in A Lonely Place. Irene does the costumes. I love that makeup is created by Jack Dawn. That was a long time of that screen of credits. Okay, so they're giving us Nick is Cecil Calloway. We see him. He's a very character actor. Oh, okay, and directed by Tay Garnett. I've never heard his name, but he did this. Aimless. Wow, so why would he? getting let out here and we see this man again so he's just a tramp you know just tramping the road and gets let out at a man wanted sign so okay why is he just standing there you can tell like he's observing this Okay, what's his reaction going to be? Is he worried about that? Well, he was gabbing it up with the district attorney, right? already knew about this place and needing some help because that sign was little
his little jacket. Huh? So it's a gas station and a little diner. Okay, yeah, I mean, he definitely seems like he was contacted to come to here. And he's already been like, hey, you know, probably not who you want. Let's check her out. Mm-hmm. She knows she's beautiful. She knows about her figure. Um, this little head piece is very hip, right? Her shorts are very short. Oh, you don't want it? You expect him to bring it to you? Oh, they're just a battle of the wills right now. With her midriff out. Yeah. This is the height of the Lana Turner persona. So, okay, that is that old man's um, wife. Uh oh, he threw that away. I mean, you could have salvaged that. It didn't need to be wasting food. Oh, so, yeah. The sign's getting burned up. Oh, he didn't know that was his wife? Okay. Yeah, why would he why would he think it was his daughter? Okay, well this is significant. That's a very symbolic little thing going on right there. That quick she became not available, but he needs to stay. Is that his wife? So she works pretty hard to be this man's wife, though, right? I mean, she doesn't get to be a housewife that doesn't have to work. So the motivation... I was going to say, isn't it the end of the day? Yeah, Battle of the Wills. In the morning. Oh. So he, she's trying to work him 24 hours a day. Because it definitely looks like nighttime. Oh, he's going to try and be real lazy, huh? Like... Hmm. Yeah. 
But who cares? It's her. Was that necessary? Okay, I guess that was the. Did she slap him or? Oh, she just um touches up her lipstick. Oh, she ain't done. I call Rona. I mean, look at her hair. She's very aware of herself. So, it's completely not about love. But she's with Nick. Hmm. All right, well, hello. Hated him for what, most of all? Something about he disturbed her. So for weeks. Now, you know he decided to stay because of her. And so f for weeks, she hasn't spoken to him. Why is he trying to do that? Oh. So we're just getting a demonstration of how easy... Oh, I was going to say how easy it is to play Nick. Quite just land the sail on Nick, yeah. Everybody has to do this with their cigarettes all the time. Oh, because she ain't cheap, right? She's still not giving him any play. He did kiss her. He grabbed her. That was their first night of interacting with one another. So. Okay. Why are you married? Okay, thank you. We need to know. Because she's expecting him to not be around forever, right? Sooner than later. Or just naturally. And to inherit this. So again, it is interesting. Like, she doesn't get to be a housewife. She's very much involved with the business aspect of this stuff. I didn't see what it said under it. Oh, I don't know. You could see that's how he walked away. He got a little attitude. He didn't have time to talk about it, even though he understood it. Nick is dense, huh? He's pretty, he's just off in La La Land. He's, um, no. Does he think this is his little life story? 
that's what I was like, does Nick somehow really think that has a reason to rest easy, huh? She was just flirting with him. Her husband. I'll dance with you. She's very much like a child to him, huh? She just had, like, she was a misbehaving little child. I don't want to dance. Right? So, this is just happening to Cora, right? Seriously, Nick, you're trying to figure out the courts. <laughs> Now she's quite young, right? And she's already married to Nick, so I don't think she's had many experiences like this. It's interesting that he's taller than her. Because she has heels on. Doesn't she? I we saw those. Okay, so she's very enterprising. She's very business-minded. She chose Nick for obvious... Nick's too secure. And what's not really going on with him and Cora, but she obviously has him wrapped around her finger in that lane of their relationship. dance with you, Nick. You know, and he's just like, eh, no. <laughs> because he's kind of used to receiving that behavior from her. She's doing what she has to do with Nick, right? But it doesn't necessarily seem to get her very far a lot of the time, right? She's wanted a better sign for a long time. This fool comes along, and it is just between the two of them, like, how they practice trying to play Nick, because he controls the purse strings, right? But what for? Just to keep working out their business. It's an interesting dynamic, you know? They're not trying to cash in on a life insurance claim yet. I don't know if that happens, I don't remember, but... What's the matter? Nick don't care. I cannot believe that he um, doesn't. She's too much, right? She's too beautiful. And like... 35 years younger than him. And I didn't think you would be back already with him. Okay, if that call indicates he wants out of the situation, right? Okay, he's trying to go Okay, say what to her? Leave him, and let's just do the right thing. This poor old man right here, it's hilarious. What's he eating, a little donut and coffee? Is he a movie producer? Look at 
look at this. <laughs> creepy John Garfield and he totally knew it was oh look at him still he wasn't dead until that man closed that door okay he's he's this is hot and cold Why? Okay. Gold watch. Retired. Oh. Um, so yes, it is. So this, yeah, it really happened right now. All right, all right, all right. So, you know, do what you gotta do. Make adjustments, do the right. That's where she put it. She is very ambitious. She ain't trying to be no tramp. And just got her nice clothes dirty. Look at her little stylish hat. Her little all put together outfit. It's, I think enough of the budget does get to be allowed to be on her little wardrobe. Huh? So they've been walking the whole way. <laughs> However far they've gotten in the summer here, they've walked every foot of it. It's probably not, like, better. But back at 
my place. Let's be tramps in character, though. Does she say come with? Oh, so they both are going back. Well, I thought at the end of the night, once he was closed up for the day, So, I don't want to be a tramp tramping around the world with you. This is at least mine. And I want you. I love you. But, you know, you're smart enough to become a manager. How's he going to become a manager right here? She's too mad at him. Oh. She got quite dirty. Oh. Okay, is she gonna be like, you didn't mean that, okay. It's already started. Because, mm, mm, mm. you know what? They're already in the wrong for being back. They didn't make no mention of ending this jacked up situation. She can't divorce Nick. She won't get a dime. She got to be able to be back here, stay being his wife. She loves him. He's right there. Nick is obnoxious. Let's ask. During the day, when you're working for me, uh, well, he says he. A raise? But he lost his wallet? Oh. Mm. One of them's hers, huh? She's, she's thinking of her little story. <clears throat> she's going to figure out some way that they don't need to be opened. Again, I was going to say, let's ask Nick. Because he's higher than a kite. Why does Nick think he's married to Corin? He 
he's obnoxious. Huh? He honestly thinks that's his woman because, like, he landed her. <laughs> she said she told him that she doesn't love him, but he doesn't seem to believe that, right? Like, that doesn't seem to be his reality of this experience. Yeah. Yeah. couldn't go. I mean, dude, you gotta get yourself together to be able to go. Oh, yeah, she's just polishing her things. Okay, so in her mind, she just does cut this off. Yeah, then he does need to go. If she obviously won't talk to him alone, then what is he staying there for? Well, do you love him? Well, obviously, chick. Look at her talking like a little girl. Well, she's not. Wow. Okay. Well, is it Frank? You've gotten your... Ooh. Okay. She's got murder in her heart. Happening the home. We'll keep that in mind. A little good little nugget of information in the bath chat. Be careful. So Drop the marbles. Uh, put the marbles on the floor so that he'll slip on them when he gets up. <laughs> oh, she's gonna do it. 
It was her idea. And she'll actually... Um, why is she gonna come out the window? On a ladder. Because he thinks that he landed Cora. And I'm, so, I'm gonna be very afraid. He gives her some when he feels like it, which is not that often, right? Like, but he feels like that's just the way it is with them. <laughs> so that's why he ain't gonna pay attention to her if she comes in there. <laughs> She's really gonna go in there and put these marbles, make sure the water's still running, come out the window. Why does she have to do that? Why can't she go down back down the stairs back to her little ironing board? Like when the heck does she need to come outside of the house? Like this far. This is a very stupid plan, people. Like, um <laughs> I don't understand why she needs to obviously I guess quickly in the front of this establishment come out via a ladder. I, I do not understand the reasoning. Because she just as quickly as possible wants to be outside of the house when he's going to be slipping on the marbles, breaking his head. she said don't you dare move an inch away from the car and he's supposed to give a signal if anybody comes up and then what all she won't do is come down the um, ladder but he would still slip on the marbles right <sighs> they're not the brightest people in the shed because Okay, I think, like, we need to really examine the terrification that he should have been, like, not able to get rid of when it became clear she has murder in her heart. This fool's always checking on stopped cars, huh? So he's gonna go. He's gonna go get the cat off of the ladder, right now. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna go walk over and take that cat off of that ladder. <laughs> he's very nosy, right? <laughs> Is that the signal? A uh, seriously, Cora? Well, I don't understand what the step ladder. Been an accident, an accident, and oh, so it seems like he got taken to the hospital via an ambulance. Right away, bitch, what have you done?
my he's conscious now, right? Look at how the DA is just looking at her. like you never do. Be clueless as you always are, Nick. Be yourself when you wake back up. And I'll talk to you like a little girl. Oh. Hmm. He not. Nick gives me Native American. Yeah, okay. Nick. I mean, why is he pulling? This dude out. Is he gonna tell them something on the hall or he just wants to give them privacy? Oh god. Is they're watching these fools, right? Like kind of trailing them, not letting them know, but they are, yeah. It's just like, oh, we're all leaving at the same time. To who? That's the police department. Because <laughs> of the fact that he just said, what happened? I don't know. Were we supposed... No, it's still the hospital. I guess they just questioned her there at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to just pull up into your little diner with you. What if he... He's not... They... I don't know. They can't promise that he's not going to... No wet. No weak. I feel like he just said no weak. Okay, I mean, you're saying it. You're saying your part. Frank. Real. Suspect. Yeah, they don't know anything about electricity. Okay, bye! <laughs> Woo, are they safe now? No, I don't... I, no. What's the ladder doing there? I mean, I really just don't know why the ladder is of concern. Right. I th I'm glad that's the nature of the conversation. I love this. Yeah.
and you screamed real stupid. Well, go answer it. This is such a hot mess. So they just have their little free week. He sold this cop. Yeah. What's his problem all of a sudden? Which you didn't notice that Cora was gone? Well, they always gotta have this little smock. Okay. Oh, they're gonna do it again? Him? Okay. So he's obsessed with her. Like, this is just a personal issue that he's got with her being obsessed with her. We get it. But it's like, I couldn't leave, you know, like, I couldn't stay and I couldn't leave. It's like, well, you need to be able to leave and not resort to homicidal, you know, attempts. So, yeah, he did just leave. Is that really expensive? Okay, yeah. It's worth it, because he saved his life. Oh, yeah. They haven't seen each other since that day she left to go get him. Oh, is she, like, receptive? to seeing him. Okay, she was caught off guard, but is she gonna be friendly to him? She's willing to work for her place, right? Just stirring her little pots and pans. <laughs> interesting the way she always starts off trying to give him ice. Mm. Well, why are you back then? Okay, he said he had to leave in order to give them a chance. 
a fracture on his skull. Or if he came back or if he stayed, I couldn't tell what was going to happen. Okay, Nick, let's get a little bit more of your take. That's so weird huh? that he made Nick come back for this surprise. Where is this? Mm. Northern Canada? That's got to be the coldest place on earth, right? <laughs> From California here. She would like, does she talk to him like that? Yes. Oh. Oh, now the only thing that we're supposed to care about is the life that this is going to mean for Cora. She's got to go help. Nick, if you only knew. I can't say what's gonna happen if I come back, come back between me and Cora toward Nick. Oh. Oh, so he wasn't gonna do it right there. yours, are they? Oh, that's why he wanted Nick. Well, Corey, you didn't have nothing to do with the yay or nay of that. Turn the lights out. But aside from that transfer of the bill, he turned the lights out on him. Cora, you have no say so in the money moves that Homeboy makes home. This shit ain't yours. <laughs> and Nick just sealed his fate. Yeah, no, Nick just, is she coming out? Are they about to talk about this right now? Are they going to talk through the window? <laughs> Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Well, 
Well, Nick did um, get brought back here. He was trying to, yes, he was trying to be seen by that dude. And so I guess he knew that if Nick, what's this? Nick and Frank, right? Frank knew that if Nick saw him at that little warehouse, he'd bring him back. And he was trying to get brought back. Oh, let's talk about Cora. She's about to take all of these matters into her own hands. She ain't gonna put none of this on Frank. <laughs> okay, the kimono that she's wearing right now, I need. She got murder in her heart. She done showed you. Of course, really, this. And no part of figuring it out is just about getting their shit and leaving this hole to his own devices. Mm. Mm. Why are you guys freaking out? Mm, um. <laughs> but you know you were not about to put that knife on you. No. She hated the prospect of the life that she was going to have to go live with his half dead son. You know what? Mm, 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 mm. That other time. Stop it. It's the DA. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Murderers. Y'all are two murderers. Well, where are they supposed to be going as a little family? Closing up early. Because that's what this dude said. Guys are closing up early. Mm, mm, mm. It was perfect. We have the DA as our witness. Twenty miles as an alternate route. 
I don't know, it said alt 20. I have no idea what that means. Do they have the district attorney as a stalker right now? To Northern Canada. Oh, so because she's driving on this dirt road, it's overheating the car. I mean, the violent capacity. Okay, so that's how they were going to, he was just going to do that to Nick. We come back in the car so I can hit you on the head, the back of the head with this bottle. All right, are you getting the bottle again? I mean, y'all got work to do, right? Because there's no other way out, right? <laughs> He did it. Look at her. <sighs> this is going to be such a bad murder that it won't be a murder. Oh, damn. Oh. Did the car not fall far enough, though? This is... Uh, <clears throat> is... sudden it's hard for him to look at his work all right now karma is a bitch and I guess it was happening real time for this man karma came on through immediately <clears throat> so he was hip, had a bad feeling, stalked them out. He ain't trying to hear a word of what she has to say. This fool survived. <laughs> that shit, like, twisted and turned down that cliff. But he only has a bandage on his head. Oh, they got him riding with dead Nick. <laughs> we just saw him sit up. So he's not dead. But they took Nick to the mortuary along with him just for the ride. That's exactly what you get. That's exactly what you get. Okay, so he's the district attorney. He is not this fool's attorney. Shame and the same.
clemency. Did she know? Now, it was precipitated by the funky moves that Nick was making, taking her up to northern Canada. Well, she may have known about that. Yeah. Because he's worried that she did. Where is he wrong? Except for the insurance. Okay. But you got caught. Oh, put it all on her. Why is he trying so hard only to get Cora? Okay, he's tricking this fool. And you were in it. <laughs> Did she know? I mean, I think that we understand their motivations were from day one. Wow. Can he ask for an attorney? Is he about to sign this? So now you're punking out and saying that Cora hit him over the head with that bottle and, and tried to kill you? Wow, Frank. Now, look, we got the Mafia Code of Conduct, which is not being a rat and nobody needs to really live by that, but um, this right here. Called being a rat. <clears throat> this fool doesn't have a lawyer. He's not really going to be worried about it for some reason, huh? The 
But the DA is tight like that with a prosecutor. So you're a little bitch, right? Like he just saw what he signed off on. <laughs> Why are you guys not speaking? John Garfield, you don't have nothing to say? <laughs> just gonna wait till he speaks. Does he have a state appointed attorney? Uh. Oh, he's coming in a wheelchair. Where is Cora? Because she wasn't injured, so she's just been at home. And has to find out that he gave her up. She hit Nick on the head with the bottle and pushed them both over the cliff. But who is this fool's attorney? Oh, look at her. And him. Oh, he got the nerve to be cutting his eyes at her. I didn't mean to sign it. He got me going. Please tell Cora that I'm just a little bitch. I mean, fool, if you were big, bold, and bad enough to do all of these things, I cannot believe that he has the nerve to have given her up like that. Oh, yeah, it's all on her, huh? An attempted murder of this fool? Oh, she didn't know. Guilty to both. We plead guilty to both charges. What? Why in the world is she going along with that so far? So she just at that moment found out that this fool gave her up. They were already looking at each other crazy. I thought that she already knew that. But then this dude pleads guilty for her. And she's just standing there. Is this finally this fool's state appointed attorney? Oh, what? Why in the world would they allow these two to be in a room by themselves? <laughs> she's just got a little attitude that she ain't gonna talk to him because she's on about to be on trial for her entire life oh <laughs> marbles Reported. They're being recorded, right? Stool pigeon. You are Frank.
If you'll just let me handle it. Fool, you better show your hand. She's your client. What was she going to confess to? I don't think that she... Oh, she's going to confess that he did it too? Why would he be trying to get his own client convicted? Because she's going to confess that, yes, yeah, she was a part of everything, but so was this fool. And why is whom crone? That's who that is. Um, down for that. I am confused as to how he's handling this. So that's the only reason why she's doing this is because otherwise it's all on her. I think this full... Okay, yeah, it wasn't the motivation. <laughs> Stop. If we did it for the, you know our bad reasonings from jump, right? We wanted to be together. If I tried to divorce him, he wouldn't have given me anything. I needed to try and you know, stay in the money. I'm willing to work, but you know, I'm not trying to sling hash and I don't want him to have to work at the gas station, not being a manager. He can be my manager. Um, but then, you know, my man goes and makes all the money moves without asking me about shit. So obviously nothing really is mine. So we had to kill him. Because I was going to have to, you know, be a decent wife and help take care of an ailing relative by marriage. And that's just, I couldn't do that. So he had to go via a cracked head. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? But there was no other way out. I mean, the violence that they escalated to carrying out. And oh, it was going to be such a bad murder that it wouldn't have been a murder. Seriously? I feel like... He's saying, <laughs> woman squirt. <laughs> Not very hard. Oh, okay. He's like, he's like. He works for me. Okay, he, he got real creative. Well, you need to start saying how you're going to handle it.
try and look as innocent as possible. Is she going to have her hair in a little bun or something? Just pinned back, huh? Is she going to change her plea? So he only had, he said the only reason he pled guilty was so she would shut up. In light of further developments. Is this fool going to show the confession? He is disgusting as a shyster lawyer, right? Well, does he go for that? She's gonna plead guilty to killing Nick. So he's just getting her some time. What does it mean? Why does she have to put th this is horrific counsel. Tell her what that entails. What's the minimum? She is, but Why? What are the facts that make her be needing some leniency? What are you, what are they about to tell the honor? So she's going to do some time. I. She. Oh, I thought she was going to have to do some time. And I said that this movie would get us to a place of being hypocrites to be on her side. Oh, we were really sitting up in here being like, why is she going to have to do some time? Because she planned and did pull off killing Nick. Yeah, those two murderers.
why on earth is he being let off with her? This dirty, yeah. This was quite clever, the legal aspect of it. Um, because of the leniency, she gets probation and suspends the sentence. I mean, but why are they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she finally got, she, all she wants is this little lunchroom where she gonna be storing her pots. She gonna work. Got a little neon sign. They're sick. Yeah, okay. Um, Y'all are toxic as F. Watch her like a hawk. Didn't trust her for a minute to do what to you. Well, she is capable of murder, but then again, so are you. Maybe she's keeping her eye on you too, fool. Really, you gotta give customer service with her little turban on. Oh, they're both here. She is cool. Double Jeopardy. Oh, so is he gonna be like touching her? Oh, he's going in. Oh, but they have people inside now too. What? Oh, he's gonna go back there. Seriously, well, you put that on there too. They're murderers. They have no cooth. They were going to get arrested. Yeah. 
They were gonna get arrested for not being married and living together. I forgot about this part. I, I don't remember anything. <laughs> oh, he's a mechanic. Frank is a piece of trash, huh? a murderer, a violent one. It's a hot day, leather seat, thin skirt, and I'm a hoe, and... You know what? Are they coming back? Just a hoe. He's a man hoe. Do we, are we surprised? Do we care? Is he coming back? Is this Cora coming back? Does she care if he's not there? Okay, this is her coming back. She's steady be wearing these little turbans. And... Oh, she's looking for him? Oh, he's there. But it's a rental. Or he actually did buy it. What? Oh, don't be trying nothing slick. They don't kill you. Is this fool be like, I'm the one that took that confession. I've got it. He ain't gonna come out of this little cafe. You know what? <laughs> What's handy? Cause we're gonna oh. I see something right there. Oh, she bringing the bottles. Oh, he knows she just got 10,000.
Oh, he took it. He's got it. The one copy that there was of it. You know, um... He's really stupid, huh? He knows... He wants all of their money. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, you were. You just didn't expect to have a gun. I think we all thought he was too stupid to have a gun. They're going to jump him. <laughs> they both have glasses in their hands. She's, is she going to start it? Uh oh, is he going to like beat this phone? Boy, murderers. This movie is a lot. I just didn't remember how much there are criminals. They'll do whatever they gotta do. To, and he'll be shot. And I'll give you the sign in. And once again, Cora, you're holding the gun, so you'll do the dirty work. <laughs> They split it up between them, though. He hit Nick on the head with the bottle. Oh, he's listening. Okay. Just a snowball effect. Ah, uh, you know, and I think like he's a bad hombre, just period. Okay, I'll do whatever you say, Frank. This is so weird to do.
<laughs> uh, they would have kept on. Yeah. Because we got customers outside. I don't even want to know their minds like what she's annoyed about So if he messes her over, she gonna send him up? Wow, Cora. He didn't think you cared. For what? You know what? Um... Now these two really are needing to keep all of their eyes on each other. Because I can't leave. And does he still have Cora in his blood? He's just got her in his system. What's she doing? Think about how I can kill you, thinking about how I can send you up. Y'all are too sick. Um, okay, well. Did she say, look at what love got us into? To each other. Where were you going? Where? Yes. Boy, they're on the same wavelength all the time, huh? It's very low vibration, the wavelength that they're on, but they're always right here. she has 
to be sure of. They're so sick. What the heck is going to be settled by them going down to the beach? If you don't drown me, if you don't kill me out here. Yeah, no, that's this is what she going to These two are the most twisted, sick. So they put each other through it. They put each other through it. And he's just always whatever Cora is about. He don't know why he has to go swim out into the Pacific Ocean right now at night. As far as they both can until they're about to collapse from exhaustion. Okay, because we can barely keep going. And now we just have to go all the way back. have really forgotten I well first of all I've never been this grown watching this movie I can't believe it. it hasn't been that long ago that I watched it if I've lived in this house but it is so disturbing um the love tests that these two are putting each other through What is their deal with each other? Why are they so base? I mean, I think because they just are. But that's like one of the basest um, ways to feel back on track now. Okay. Now we're good to go. They're sick. They're real twisted. Real twisted. I'm sorry. Give me a card. Give me some flowers. Let's just have communication. Okay, the road. I mean, she died. <laughs> I thought I remembered. Mm. Mm -hmm. I thought that I remembered a scene of Cora in a hospital bed. Well, she looked at him. That's an, a telling look that was on her face. Well, that was the look that was on her face. Well, mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's the understatement of life. Well, I think, um, <laughs> no. Yeah, he said no. Yeah, it's just a head shake of no full. Bye-bye. Um, you did so much other stuff, though. Okay.
I thought it was going to be that first one. Of course, right? We all thought that. What does it say? Nick. Frank. Yeah, she was leaving, huh? <laughs> um, do you get that? Frank. Okay. Fair enough then. Mm -hmm. right, well, I'm glad that he left it open ended like that. Um, you know what? This is perfect timing for the movie to be over. <laughs> I did not realize like how disturbing all of their mentality was um, about every move that they made. And like I said, the sick and twisted little love tests between the two of them. You know, it's just, it was a lot. Um, that, that was a heaping helping of a lot. And, um, you know, <laughs> we have it <laughs> in our library. Thank you so much for spending your time and we will see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey. Hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.